Yeah, what's up, bro? Hey, what's up? What's up, guys? Hey, what's, what's going up? on? What's good? What's good? Welcome! Yo, 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 what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Ultimate Rage, once again from OD9 Entertainment. We chilling in Horizon Studios for Rage the Show. What's good? So, yeah, I'm chilling here with my boy, the one and only, the incredible, amazing, Dragonfly Sound. That was so corny, dude. Going <laughs> Yo, fuck you, man. <laughs> I'm trying to big you up. Hey, you don't want to be stuck? Right, the, the whack, the garbage. Oh, man, dumb. Talentless. That. We, no, what's, what's good, though, for real? Oh, not much, man. You know, just chilling and shit. Just chilling? Yeah. yeah. I enjoy coming to the studio. Thanks Hell for inviting yeah. me, bro. Hell yeah, you know, that's what we all about. You know what I'm saying? We got you the nice, big, comfy couch, you know what I mean? Got you with the nice, fluffy pillow, just so you could be extra comfortable, you know what I mean? Fluffy indeed. Hell yeah. So, what brings you here today? Why are you here? Why are you here? Well, I'm here so I could, like, start making myself known. I want people to, like, listen to my music. And I just, how can I say, I just, I want to share my music with others, basically. What I'm, what I'm trying to say. Yeah. All right, so let's just start from the top. Like, you know, you're very young. You're 18, right? Yeah, I'm 18. Yeah, and and you've got an incredible amount of talent. So what type of music do you do exactly? Well, sometimes I do I do some hip-hop with my friends, or, like, I would do, like, I like pop music. I like a lot of metal music for some yeah. reason. <laughs> yeah, like, with, like the guitar solos are just amazing, dude. Oh, yeah. Who do you like to listen to? Well, I like to listen to Breaking Benjamin. They're one of like they're one of the few bands I listen to that actually got me through most of my, you know, depression. I guess you could say. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, we all go through that type of stuff, man. So like, how did you get into music? You know what I mean? Like, what, what what's the origin oh, story? Oh man, I think it was one day where I went to um, I went to this party. It was like a family kind of thing, and my uncle, my uncle, oh, I was only like nine nine years old yeah and i was like i was like nine and i think i was like around third grade but so there was this one party that i went to and you know my uncle's friend we call him i call i consider him uncle too we call him uncle pippin so uncle pippin uncle pippin bro shout out to uncle pippin what's good play boy <laughs> so he'd be like hey you know you like michael jackson i'm all like who's that and yeah, the next thing you know and then and then he's like hey check this out so he uh he showed me Billie Jean, and then I guess from there that kind of sparked my interest in music. Cause back then I, I used to like always listen to all this like uh Hispanic music that my parents be listening to, so like like a mariachi and all that kind of stuff. Right. But when once my 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 uncle Pippin showed me that that music that style of music, you know, like Michael's music, I guess you could say that that just let that just started. That was just like the starting point on the, my path that I'm you know on today. That's what's up. So Michael Jackson was a huge influence on. Oh, him. very. Yeah. Yeah, like I mean, there would be times where where like I just blast his music in the shower, be singing along to it, and mom be like, "Hey, quiet in there." <laughs> and then she's, I'm all like, "Sorry." And then like I would just like you rock my world in the background, I'd be like, "Rock my world," you know, you know just say it all low so nobody would near notice me. That's what's up. Now I've actually heard you, and you actually sound like very similar to michael jackson like you're very reminiscent of that you know what i'm saying i, I can't wait to get a, a taste of you know your your luscious sounds <laughs> later on in the show but just starting off so like what was life growing up for you like where, where are you from actually well i'm born and i'm from chicago illinois born and raised you know shy town south side that's what's up and um socks all day no what <laughs> cubs all the way what you talking about <laughs> Cubs? Yes. How are you from the South Side rocking the Cubs, dude? Well, my parents kind of like, they show, like, I think of it like this. Like, they, you know, they've been through so many years, so many losses and stuff. And, like, they finally got to the point where they're actually, like, how can I say? They're, like, mo they're moving their asses. They're trying to do something, you know? And that's how they ended up winning uh, 2016. Yeah. Okay, but you do realize the Sox won 2005, though, right? Yeah, I know, I know. But, like, I'm not, I was raised to be a Cubs fan, not a Sox fan. Okay, you have the worst parents in the world. Okay, <laughs> anyway, uh, no, but uh, on a serious note, so like, so you're from Chicago proper. Mm -hmm. All right, so so what was it like? Like like, you know, do you have any siblings? Like, yeah, I have uh three. I have three lovely sisters. Um, Brianna's the oldest, and then you got uh, 
uh, Belvet and Brisa. Nice. Brisa is you know, she's uh she her birthday was recently on September first. Right. And uh, I didn't I would happy belated. I, yeah, happy belated birthday. My little PD. We call her PD at times. <laughs> what does that mean? No, we just made it up for her. Okay. She just really likes the name. Baby, all right. And That's then like we'd be like, hey, come on, you know, like it sucks that I couldn't be there for for her birthday this year, but I promise I'll be in the next one. All right, that's what's up, bro. So, like, when did you realize that music was your thing? Like, that this is something that you could do, like, you could take it seriously? I think that started, I think, in my sophomore year of high school. And... So, like, yesterday? No, <laughs> no not yesterday. About, well, like, three years ago. And my teacher, you know, he's like, wow, Brandon, you have a good voice, you know, and you're really, you know... You know, like I could see that you're really into it, and that's something that you want to do. Like, right. have you ever thought pursuing it? And me, like, I didn't think I wanted to pursue. It. Like, I was just doing it for fun because yeah. that because that's just something I love to do. And then that kind of like sparked my interest into being like, oh man, you know, like I'll try this out. So uh, during my sophomore and freshman year, that's when I learned to also uh, do piano and guitar. And I just learned that off of off of like I just go on Google and I just look up like picture diagrams and yeah. stuff. And that's how I learned play guitar and piano that's dope so you're multi-talented huh yeah in a way i guess you could say in a way either you are or you're not there is no try you know no but uh <laughs> no that's what's up so like who like when, when so when you started doing music and you started realizing you could take it seriously like did you ever do any like actual performances for people did you just sing for people so your friends or did you like you know keep it to yourself like well, it, it's kind of started off with um, in third grade, so that's when I started get where I started getting into the music, and this was like begin beginning of the school year. So they had it was actually a, it was a Catholic school called Pope John Paul II. It's um, it's near the Kelly High School. Shout out to Pope John Paul. So R. the R. the chorus teacher there like would like we would have I think uh, you could say like a service in the morning, like on certain days. So right. when we went like I heard the choir, I'm like man, that's pretty dope. So they talked to the choir teacher there and she and she like let me go he yeah he yeah he let me go and he just taught me like hey this is how you know this is this and that's that and i'm like okay so like that's when i started learning like specific factors that's of awesome. music you know and then from there on i just kept at it and that's how i'm here today all right well so since you're from the South Side, I'm from the South Side too, you know what I'm saying? Oh seven nine was good. Shout out to Auburn Gresham Keller Ward. But yeah, how how do you avoid the pitfalls of, you know, the neighborhood? Because you know, there's all this, you know, the street life and everything, like and, and it's very pervasive throughout the area. So how do you stay out of that, you know? Like how do you keep your focus on music? Well, my parents always raise me in they to stay inside. So I guess I'm always I used to always be an inside person, so like I never really was able to get out. But when I did, like I really didn't pay attention to all the negative. I try to keep positive all the time. You right. Know? I try to be a little more optimistic. That was pretty I, much the same way, yeah. Because I, I don't want to like I know that like, there's things going on, and like a lot of people go through shit. Yeah. But I feel like you know you got to look at the bright side of things. I, I agree. Yeah, I'm, I'm like I said, I'm from O seven nine, so like. You know, I, I've I've seen the whole lot. I've been a victim, you know what I mean, and everything. And it's, you know, it could be rough, you know, growing in that type of environment and trying to make it out, you know what I mean? Because there's so many different influences that can throw you off track. Like, I've seen people with extreme talent, like people who, like, wow, like, they actually could do something, but then they fall to the wayside. So it's, it, that's why it's great to see you, like, still doing your thing, still here, you know what I mean? Right off of Michigan Avenue and everything, you know what I'm saying? So... That's that's really good to hear. So, like, what do you want to do with music? Like, where where do you see yourself? You know, in the near future. Well, in the near future, hopefully, like, I see like my music reaching out to like thousands, maybe you know, millions of people. So then they could, because I me we, when I write my music, I want to be able to express. I express my feelings through some way. So like if something bad happened to me today, then I'd write like how I felt for that day. Or if something great happened, like that's when I'd write something about either like love, excitement, or I try to keep it. So you actually write your own material. Yeah, like I write I write my own lyrics. I I uh, make my own guitar tunes or on the piano. Oh, snap. So, I mean, because I never really, 
I didn't really had friends or anything, so I try everything I had to do on my own. That's crazy. So you're self taught? Yeah, most of it, yeah. Yeah. I never really got like a vocal teacher or um like you know, or a gu- or like a guitar teacher or whatever, nothing like that. Okay, well have you uh have you actually made any for real songs? Like you ever been in the studio putting things together? Yeah, actually like I've been in the studio a couple of times with you actually and we Oh uh, me? Yeah, you. <laughs> and we you know, we kinda did some stuff down the like, little home studio. Yeah. And we got some decent material already down, so Hell yeah, dude. And we're gonna get this thing cracking in just a little while. But before we do that, I still want to know no more about you. You know what I'm saying? So basically, like, so are you are you going to school now? Like, yeah, I'm in school. I'm currently still in school. You know, I'm uh, like I said, like I'm 18 and I kind of messed up. That was on my, you know, that was on me. What happened? Well, I didn't really want to like. I used to be one of those like rebel kids that just didn't want to go to school and just have fun all day. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) So. I would um, sometimes I would I would come to school late just to go like chill in the morning with my friend or and I sometimes like I would just ditch like seventh period and take the rest of the day for myself. Oh, you've been a naughty boy, huh? Yeah. yeah. My mom didn't like that. Ooh. I bet she did, man, and she shouldn't. So like, so you're back at school now. So how long you got left? I just have I just have a half a half a I just have a semester of school left. Okay. Basically half a year, and I should be done with it around January, February. Oh, that's what's up. Well, let's say you weren't doing music right now. Let's say you know that just wasn't, or like let's say things don't pan out, or whatever the case may be. Like, what would you, what would, what do you, what would you see yourself doing like in the future? Like going to school, like you know. If like, I didn't do music, I'd probably just be in the military. Actually. Yeah. So, so we got a patriot over here, huh? <laughs> Like, why, why, why the military? Well, for me, like, if say, like, if I did not have that, you know, love for music or anything, like, I probably wouldn't, I, I don't know what I would have discovered or, like, got learned or, like, acquired a new thing that I wanted to do. So, like, me, like, I like, you know, like, I have patriotism like, for my country and everything, you know, and I just, how can I say it? I I want to give my life for something that's right. Like, like that's what I probably would have done if I didn't do any music. So you want to give your life for something that's right. Yeah, like if it ensures like my kids' future and my, like say like in, say like in the near future if it like if it's for my kids and my wife like if I do like if anything ever does happen or something like that. Okay. So do you have any like hobbies that you like to do outside of music? Outside of music, of I do. like. To... <laughs> well, I like to. Um, I like to skate. Like sometimes, like I would go rollerblading, and then other times I do this uh, thing called soaping. It's like a late nineties. What the heck is that? Well, it originated. Like, like you take showers and stuff. No, like, you're supposed to do that. <laughs> no, no. Well, it's these shoes with a concave plastic plate on the bottom that allow you to slide off of objects. So it's like skateboarding without the skateboard, basically, and uh, it came out. In the late '90s, early 2000s, and then the the name of the shoe was uh they call it a soap soap shoe. A soap shoe. So do you keep them clean? Because that would kind of if they didn't, they would kind of defeat. The oh purpose, well, yeah, I mean, mean, I mean, I yeah, mean, you know what I mean, son? Of course you want to keep it clean. Why not? Yeah. Like, I mean, you're gonna be out there flashing all these dope ass moves. So yeah. yeah. All right. Well, since since you're like such a music guy and you like to sing and dance, like, do you do any dancing? Or in your performances, like I don't dance. I don't really dance, but like, I mean, if I could learn, don't dance. I feel you on that. You know what I'm saying? That's Man, what's up. If I could learn to dance, uh, that'd be. I, if I if I had a choice to learn what to dance, I'd probably want to learn how to dance like Michael Jackson. Hell yeah. That's that. That's I like. I like his popping, bro. Like that'd be. On Hell point. yeah. No, he he be killing it on stage. Like if you ever see him do like Stranger in Moscow, he's doing. The, uh, yeah, that shit dude. is hot, dude. Like, you be is. killing it. You know what I mean? So, do you have anything for us today that you like us to pro- to that you'd like to perform or what? Yo, 
I wake up every day, see the sun arise Wishing you can stay, so I can see your eyes Wishing that we can play till the night arrives But girl, you are my heart, nothing can tear us apart Cause you are all I want, you are all I need to complete my heart, you are my soul, girl, you are the blood that's pumping through my heart, girl, you're like a deja vu, oh, what else can I do, girl, you're like a deja vu, oh, what else can I do, girl, you're like a deja vu, oh, what else can I do, yeah, I like that. Waking up from my slumber, I try I to get your number. On this real quick. Seems that your phone's off. Seems like I blew me off, but it's okay. Yeah. Anyway, okay, now, baby. Say, Yo, when the sun arrives, lighting up the sky. I feel a sudden vibe, that's when I come alive That's how I feel when I see visions of you Baby, you turn me right around like the Michigan you This is the truth, baby, I will never lie to you No matter what, I'm always on the side of you I'm shacking up all day and all night with you I've had it rough, I'm not faced, baby, I'm with you So, I wanna take you to the moon and beyond Trust me, we can get a tune with the stars You move with the charm, the suit and the calm And you feeling all them smooth in my arms Pick up the phone, boo I got my phone in the booth, I'm in the Zone spitting truth, feeling so new. I'm on the Pro Tools, equalizing vocals, expressing my own view of how I need to know you. Girl, you like a deja vu. You like a deja vu. You like a deja vu. Girl, you like a deja vu. Like a deja vu. Oh, you like a deja vu. Girl, you like a deja vu. Oh, what else can I do? Waking up from a slumber, try to reach your number. Seems that your phone's off, seems like it blew me off, but it's okay. Yeah. Yo. What else can I say? That's it. Yeah, man, so uh, we're still here at Horizon Studios, you know what I'm saying? Ultimate Rage with Dragonfly Sound, my dude. So, like, so when you started doing music, how did music, like, carry you through your life, you know what I mean? like. Well, I guess, like, music, the way music carried me through life, it just showed me, like, it opened me up to, like, new things. So, like, when I listen to all these different genres, like, they all are trying to, like, relay, relay a certain message to you but in their own way. And I that's agree. what I want to do. Like I want to be able to I want to be able to do my music the way I like it and if you if you likes it too then we're good. Right. You know like if you don't like it then it's fine, you know? Yeah, I, totally I just want agree. I'm trying to get my message out to people and be like, you know, this is how I feel. This is what's going on. Like, you feel me or not? Not really, but you know. Kind of, that's that's no, like, no, well, that's I the kind of thing, you, you know. Yeah, so so is there anybody out now that's like popping that you you rock with? I like Bruno Mars a lot. Yeah, he's Bruno Mars. Talented. Uh, I Justin Bieber, but only like is the music aspect. Of it. Yeah, cause I, he's he's a crazy boy. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, how do you feel about his outside of music antics? Cause he seems to be always very, getting into something. It's very. I think some of them are very childish, but like at the same time, he's still young, so I could understand. Yeah, but like he's he's. I mean, he he started off like real young, like you said. Yeah, he but started it's off like, young and innocent. That's the thing, though. It's like. You would think that, at least in some cases, that when you start off that young, that like you'd have a good group of people around you who could keep you away from all that type of stuff. But it just seems like, like 
every every so often you see another story oh he just pissed in the bucket over here like he's punching chauffeurs for no reason it's like dude what are you so mad at like you're a millionaire you got girls lined up screaming for your name like what, what the hell dude yeah a lot of people would think like oh you know like you got everything you need and like nah like to me like i feel like uh, that's not really it's like that's a like, stereotypical oh that's everything you need you know you got you have everything that's not everything you know because then you lose like you like some like for a lot of people i think who are like are famous they kind of lose that sense of like you know i'm just a regular person that's true I'm especially not, like social I, media yeah like i understand that I, I do the music and everything but like i want i feel like in my the way like i am like i, I would rather have you like me for who i am and like what i represent you know, and the same time for the music. That's true. But it's like, you know, I, I'm a huge fan of Eminem, you know, and like when he first blew up, like it like the song My Name is became such a huge hit. But then like when he followed that up, the the Slim Shady LP with the Marshall Mathers LP, now he's talking about songs where he's like he hates to be bothered. Like, you know, he can't take a shit without somebody standing he's, by his you know he's expressing his music his and, feelings through music, that's why. And it's like you, most people don't even think about stuff like that, you know? Like, you're so used to, like, you know, your your own autonomy where you could just go to the store and just buy stuff and then that uh, that's just the store. You, but, like, now if you, like, reach a certain level of success, you can't even go outside without people being like, oh, my God! Oh, oh no. it's Dragonfly Sound! Oh, my God! I would please, can you please give me all the app? Can I take a picture? Can you, can you sign something for my son? Yo, he's gonna be so happy. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, you don't have that same autonomy anymore. And then on top of that, like, you got all these different, like, schedules because you got to do all these radio interviews. You got to do shows and stuff like that. You think you're ready for something like that? Um, I'm up for the challenge. But the way I am right now, I'm like, uh, I'll give it a try. You'll give it a try. Yeah. So, so are you, so do, uh, like, do you want to, like, really be, like, a shining star, like, one of the best ever? Or, or are you just trying to do this? Like, just professionally, just make some money off of it, or you just doing it as a hobby? Like, what, what's what's your your deal well, with it? Eventually, I do want to get to the point where I could make a stable living off of it. You know, like if I do blow up, then that'd be you know it's awesome. You know, like I could see then that would show me like how much people really fuck with it. Like yeah, I, you know, but yeah, I just want to just make a decent living off it to support myself or if I have a family. You know. Oh yeah, because there's a lot of people. That you might never hear of, you, like they they don't come up on the radar. They're not. They don't have top forty hits on Billboard charts, but they're still touring all over the place. They got giant fan bases overseas, and they're making good money. Like I, I watch like a lot of battle rap, and a lot of those like a lot of the the bigger name artists, like some of them go on to do you know pretty good things. Like they they don't become huge stars, but like. They still do movies, acting. Mm -hmm. You know, there's this one uh, rapper named Dumbfounded, like, and he he's this Asian American uh, bad rapper from L.A. And he, like, he was just on the show Power. I don't know if you've heard of it on Stars. No, I haven't heard of it. You haven't heard of Power, son? I don't watch TV that much. How do you not watch Power though? Fifty Cent. <laughs> no, I haven't watched it, bro. Power the dollar. Well, anyway, <laughs> it's the show about like the, you know these gangsters. Selling drugs, you know, sounds typical, but uh, but anyway, like, so this battle rapper, he from from battle rapping and building his name off of that, he was able to get on to this show, and it's like, he's not like a mega star like that, but he's still getting money from that. He's doing his own tours, and it's like, it's really awesome what you can see people doing just from off their music or, or whatever they do. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, it could carry you to places you've never even heard of before. You yeah. know? Like it's it's crazy how that happens. So, you know, hopefully you you get you get to do that as well, you know what I mean? Yeah, hopefully, man. You know, it's, it's all like it's all I can do. Yeah. You know? So, uh, I guess we're going to wrap this up. You got something for us? Yeah, so if you want to check out my music, you go on my page on Facebook uh at Dragonfly Sound 01. You got any other social medias? That's pretty much. I mean, I'm just starting out. 
Okay, well, check check out Dragonfly Sound on Facebook, Dragonfly Sound 01. You can check me out at the Ultimate Rage everywhere. Instagram, Twitter, holla at your boy, you know what I'm saying? Check out Horizon Recordings. And we're about to get into some stuff right now, aren't we? Oh, yes, definitely, That's bro. what I'm talking about. Let's get this thing going. Hey, thanks for checking out Rage the Show. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook at Rage the Show. And also, if you want exclusive content, behind the scenes footage, just give us a small donation at Rage the Show on Patreon.com. Thanks so much for all your time. Keep raging out. Oh, yeah.